welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our stamp set Say What Christmas Critters and its coordinating dies and also Say What Gift Tags. So let's go ahead and check them out. This set has these cute tiny critters. So we have a deer, a penguin, a llama, and a unicorn. We also have a speech bubble in an outline style and also in a solid style. And then we have all of these great sentiments that can fit in the speech bubble or be used on tags. So we have Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, A Gift for You, Sending Love, You're Such a Dear, Have a Cool Holiday, Fala La Llama, <laughs> Have a Magical Holiday. We also have a to and a from in two different styles. So I love that you can kind of mix and match depending on what you're feeling. And then we also have some larger sentiments with Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. And then we have sending a little Christmas cheer, or you could just say sending a little cheer for the holidays. And then have yourself a merry little Christmas and also happy winter. We also have these cute little music notes that I just love. One of my favorite things about this set is that it's perfect for making tags, but you could also make cards with it as well. And I love that the tags work great with this set, but the tags also work great on their own too. So there's a lot of mix and match with these. So right now I'm using my Copic markers to add some color to these fun images. And I always like to lay down my lightest marker first, and that helps me wet the paper so that I add my darkest marker. And as I blend it out, it makes it a little bit easier to blend those two colors together. I'm gonna add a little red to his hat just to give kind of a Santa Christmas feel to it. And then use some nice light warm grays for this llama. And this guy is so cute, oh my goodness. And I love his little fa la la llama sentiment. So I'm gonna color that in and then also color in his little scarf as well. And then the unicorn is so much fun because you can get really creative with it. So in this case, I am doing kind of a rainbow coloring, blending in my colors there. And then I'm gonna add my purple to the little unicorn horn. And I think this is just so much fun. I copied Megan's coloring for this and I thought it was so adorable. So thank you so much, Megan. So these are the coordinating dies, which you can bend apart at the tabs, or you can use your wire snips to separate them. I'm gonna take that die and line it up with my stamped image, use some low tack tape to hold it in place, and then run that through my die cut machine and have these awesome die cut images all ready to go. And here you can see all of the cute images from the set. I love these tiny critters and then those fun speech bubbles too. So next up here, we have our Say What gift tags. And I love these dies because they make it really easy to create tags and also shaker tags as well because there's that cool little frame. So here you can see how you can layer the frame on top just for a decorative element, or you can use it to help you make a shaker. And we're gonna be showing that later on. And so you can see how cool that looks. We also have some little confetti bits. So you'll see we have those stars and hearts and they're perfect for making little confetti to go inside your shakers. We have a fun little speech bubble and we also have this little reinforcer tab that you can add to the hole to give kind of a cool decorative look. We have this little speech bubble border die that you can line up onto the tag. You can run it through your die cut machine and this gives this really cool speech bubble detail. So there you'll see I can layer it on my tag and just how cool that looks. There's also a little heart window in this set and it's got this great little outside stitching detail. So we can hold that in place with some tape, run it through our die cut machine, and now we have a heart that we could use for something and also a heart shaped window with that awesome stitching around it. And then you can go ahead and take that and layer a tag behind it to add some fun color. So now we're gonna make a ton of tags, both shaker and knot, and we're gonna learn three different ways to make the shaker tags. We're gonna go a little quick because there are a ton of tags to get through, but it's gonna be super, super fun. So here I have my cute little llama, and I'm adding some polka dots to his scarf with a white gel pen. I'm gonna take out my really rainbow Christmas paper, and I'm gonna take that beautiful little star paper there and die cut that with the main tag piece. I also have an elf from Holiday Helpers, and so I'm gonna combine these two together because Holiday Helpers was sized to work perfectly with these dies as well. So I've got my little Holiday Helper there. I've stamped my Merry Christmas into that speech bubble from the stamp set, and then I'm gonna add that on with some foam tape. I've cut a reinforcer out of some red chili pepper cardstock, and I'm just gonna glue that right on there, and I love the finishing touch that that adds. I've die cut another white tag and I'm going to stamp the to and from on there in some lobster ink to match the Merry Christmas from the front. And then we can go ahead and layer these two pieces together. This is going to give the tag some sturdiness and also give you an area to write the to and from for your present. I'm going to thread in some mistletoe lawn trimmings, which has the red, white, and green. It's super, super cute. And my tag is all done and perfect to put on a present and I just love it. 
this stamp and die set can work really well for tags that aren't necessarily holiday related either. So here I've got my really rainbow paper and I've die cut one of the frames and then also one of the main tags there. And I'm gonna layer this onto a tag base there, just cut out of some craft cardstock. And then I'm gonna take that speech bubble border die and I'm gonna be cutting a speech bubble. But before I do that, I wanna stamp my sentiment. So this is You're Such a Deer and I'm stamping it in some Merman ink. And I use that little frame there as a guide. And then now I can add my die exactly where I need it to line up with my sentiment. And it's got that great speech bubble detail now. So I'm gonna add some adhesive to the back of that and layer that on. And then I can go ahead and add some adhesive to the frame and layer that over. You can see what a cute look this is and I love all the happy rainbow colors. I'm gonna add my little deer on there. And then I'll add a reinforcer tag cut from some guava cardstock there to kind of give a nice pop of pink and really finish off the details on that tag. Here I have some aquamarine lawn trimmings and I'm gonna thread that through. And then my tag is all done and super cute and this would be perfect for a thank you or even a birthday gift as well. So now we're gonna go back to some Christmas here and I'm gonna take out my really rainbow Christmas paper now and take out that awesome word paper there and die cut that with the main tag. I'm also gonna die cut the speech bubble that's in the tag set out of some peacock cardstock and I'm gonna heat emboss in white that fa la la llama sentiment. I'm gonna stamp in some nice sticky ink and add some white heat embossing powder and then I can heat that up with my heat tool and I'm gonna have this beautiful bright white sentiment. So in this case, I want to create a shaker and this has been one of my new favorite ways to create shakers and that's to die cut a bunch of the frame pieces and layer them together. So I've added a little glue to one frame there and then I've added another one on top, a little glue and another one on top and I'm gonna repeat that with eight different frames. This is going to mimic the idea of using foam for a shaker. It's gonna give some height for the shaker pieces to move around in but I really, really like doing it this way because I just find it really relaxing to layer all those die cuts. So I'm gonna take that big stack of die cuts there and layer that onto our base with those beautiful rainbow Christmas words. And then I'm gonna take my powder tool and run it along the inside to remove any possible stickiness that might be there from the glue that I used. Then I'm gonna take some sequins and kind of blues and whites there and fill up my little tiny shaker tag. And then I'll go ahead and add some nice strong tape all around that frame. And I've die cut one of those base tag pieces from some acetate to create my window from some nice clear plastic. So I'm gonna attach that window there onto my whole shaker piece, kind of finishing up our shaker window. Then next, I'll add more of that strong tape kind of around that same frame edge and then layer one more of those frames cut from mermaid cardstock on top for the finishing look. Then next up, I can add my cute little llama to this and that speech bubble that we created earlier. But to add some fun detail to that, I am going to be using my white gel pen to create little lines and dots. And today I'm recreating a bunch of tags by both Elena and Megan. So thank you so much to them both for letting me recreate their tags today. And I just loved Megan's little detail that she added with the white gel pen. We can go ahead and take some aquamarine lawn trimmings and thread that through and I love how cute it looks. And you'll see in this case, I didn't use the reinforcer and it looks really cute without it as well. So I think either way is a really fun look. So there you can see all of those little sequins shaking inside. We're gonna make another shaker tag, but this time we're gonna use fun foam. So I'm gonna run that frame die piece through my die cut machine with some of that fun foam. That's that stuff that you can get in the kids section of your local craft store. And I added some glue to the back of the fun foam and layered it on a little rainbow base. I also die cut a puppy cloud border there out of some white cardstock and I'm gonna layer that onto my purple frame. And this was all die cut from the Really Rainbow collection. I'm gonna stamp the Have a Magical Day in white heat emboss it just like we did for the llama tag there. And so we'll heat that up with the heat gun and then we're gonna run our powder tool all through the inside just to pick up any extra adhesive that might be in there so that those shakers can really move freely. So I'm adding a bunch of clear sequins on the inside and then a bunch of liquid glue to the top of that foam and we're gonna add a clear plastic acetate piece on top to create our window. And then we can add the frame on top of that. We'll pop in our cute little unicorn and our little fun speech bubble. And now we've got another shaker tag, but in this case, we've made it with foam instead of stacking die cuts. So it's totally a personal preference thing because either way you get a super, super cute little shaker. 
So our third way that we're gonna create a shaker today is to use some foam tape. So in this case, we're gonna take out our really rainbow Christmas paper and we're gonna use some kind of traditional reds and greens with it. So there I've got some base pieces and some frame pieces cut and I'm gonna take my foam tape and I'm gonna triple it up. I really like the triple height because it means that those little sequin pieces can really bounce around in there. So see, I've got my double height, then I'll peel up that liner taper and then I'll fold it over one more time to create the triple height of of the foam. Once I have that foam all stacked up, then I can cut it down to a really nice thin piece that I'm going to be able to layer around the frame of this die. So here I've got my base piece with those cute little rainbow Christmas trees and I'm just going to layer these pieces all around creating the well that I need for those shaker bits to move around. So you'll see I'm just going to line up all of those pieces until I've got the whole thing covered. And then once again, I'll take my powder tool and run it along the inside edges to remove any extra stickiness. This really is the trick to getting your shaker pieces to move around really well. I'm going to take some green and white sequins and drop them into my shaker base there and then add my clear acetate piece on top, which I've die cut with that main tag piece. Then I'm going to stamp the have a cool holiday there and I'm going to die cut that again with that speech bubble border that we did earlier and then layer that to the back of the frame and I really like this look with the little speech bubble. Then here I've got that fun little snowflake paper and I'm just going to trim that piece down and that's going to be our snow. So I'm just going to layer that onto the frame as well and then I can take that whole frame piece and layer that on top and add my penguin and now I have this cute little shaker made with our third way of making shakers. I'm going to thread in some mistletoe lawn trimmings for that traditional red, green, and white. And I just think this one is so cute. I love how you see those little rainbow trees peeking out from the background and then those green sequins just kind of popping around kind of remind me of a Christmas tree. For our next tag, we're going to be using the heart-shaped window. So I'm going to run that through on a white tag there that we've die cut. And there you can see how beautiful that window is. I'm also going to stamp sending love in some lobster ink and I love that this sentiment could be for Christmas or for all year round, even Valentine's or something too. I'll add some glue around the back of that heart and then just layer my little cut piece with the sending love in there so that that sentiment is centered right into the heart. I'm going to add an elf from Holiday Helpers and the penguin from Say What Christmas Critters on there and then add some red sparkle lawn trimmings and that's it. Super quick and super easy. This next tag is a combo of Holiday Helpers and Say What Christmas Critters again because these two sets go together so well. And I'm adding a little white pen detail to the box from Holiday Helpers. For this tag, I'm going to be stamping the two on the front of the tag. So you can write the recipient's name right on the front. And then I'll go ahead and layer all my pieces. So I'll add a little tape behind my box and then I'm going to tuck that cute little deer from Say What Christmas Critters inside because he's a perfect fit. Add the cute little North Pole sticker there to my box and then I can start to layer everything on. So I'm gonna add my box, and then I'll add that white frame on top, and I love the white with the pops of red and green. I think it's so beautiful. And then we can add our cute little elf on there, and then the box lid as well. And then I'll thread through some red sparkle lawn trimmings, and this tag is all done super quick and easy and super, super cute. So now for our next tag, we're gonna be working with the same stamp sets and kind of the same color scheme, since those are the things that I had out and I really liked how it was looking. So I'm gonna stamp the A Gift For You, which I love that this sentiment could go either way for both Christmas or just general. And then we're gonna stamp the two and the love on another white tag, and then just fill in that little heart with a red marker just to go along with all the pops of red we have here. We're also going to layer in our little gifts here. So these are the gifts that are in the Holiday Helper set, the little bear and the little doll. And then we'll add up some more little white gel pen polka dots to the box too. We can add the little Santa mail sticker to the box and then layer that on. And I love that in this case we've used the Say What gift tags with the different stamp set completely, which is really, really cool. So I love that you can mix and match a bunch of different sets with this or even some birthday sets or other things that you might have. So now I'll layer these two tags together so that we have our to and from on the back and then a gift for you on the front. And then we can go ahead and thread in some lawn trimming, some mistletoe ones here with the red, white, and green. And this tag is all done. 
I wanted to make one more shaker tag and I'm gonna do that same layered die cuts method. So I have some white frames and then a base cut from some of the really rainbow Christmas paper and I'm gonna layer a bunch of those white frames. I think I did eight or nine. And so I'll just add some glue and layer and there you can see it in fast motion. You can see the height building up so that we'll have a nice little well for those sequins to bounce around in. We'll use our powder tool to remove any excess stickiness. And then in this case, I'm gonna use a mix of sequins and the cute little confetti die cuts that come with the Say What gift tags. So I got a bunch of little stars in there and then I'm gonna add some white sequins in as well. And that's gonna be my snow kind of floating around. We're gonna add the clear acetate tag to the front to create the window. And then I've cut another tag out of some narwhal cardstock and I'm just gonna trim off the bottom and that's going to be my ground. Then I can layer a white frame piece on top to finish it off. And in this case, I have this cute little bear from Winter Skies that I'm gonna layer in there and a little tree from Winter Skies as well. We're gonna add a little reinforcer cut from that same pattern paper that's the base so that everything coordinates. Add that little tree in there and how cute is this? Add a little more white gel pen detail and I just love that we've used these tags with a completely different stamp set, which is so cool. So I love that those little Winter Skies bears were sized to fit on these tags as well. I'm gonna add some red sparkle lawn trimmings in there and now this little shaker tag is all done and I love seeing the little mix of sequins plus the little paper die cuts in there too. So here is a look at all of the tags we made today. Super speedy, super fun, because we made nine different tags, and you can see how fun, how you can mix up the colors, do more of the traditional red and green, or do the really rainbow Christmas, or create tags that aren't even for the holidays necessarily. I had so much fun making these, and the shaker ones are so, so cool. So next we thought it would be fun to create a card with the Say What Christmas Critters and we're gonna create a non-holiday card as well. So we're gonna take out the really rainbow paper and we're gonna pull out my favorite paper from the whole collection and that's that big rainbow stripe. We've also run our snowfall backdrop on some vellum. Instead of snowfall, it kind of looks like confetti. We'll then take an outside in stitched rectangle and run that whole piece with it to give it a beautiful stitch detail as well. And then we'll trim down this paper to be the standard size five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we're gonna layer that pattern paper onto a standard size card base. Then next, we're gonna take our vellum and lay it on top, but we're not gonna glue it down just yet. We're gonna place our little Christmas critters there and kind of see where they're gonna look cute. And we're gonna layer them onto the vellum first because we're gonna use those guys to help us hide the adhesive. So there you can see how cute that's looking already. So we're gonna add some foam squares to the back of all of these and layer those onto the card. Now vellum can be tricky to glue down because it's kind of hard to hide the adhesive. So what we're gonna do is add glue dots behind all of those critters. And then we'll add a nice long thin strip of adhesive tape there where that happy birthday border is gonna go down. So that's gonna end up hiding that adhesive as well. So we can peel up that liner paper there. And then we're gonna add a little glue on some of those little kind of confetti snowfall pieces there. And you'll see how we'll hide those bits of glue in a little bit. So now we can stick that whole piece down and then add our happy birthday line border on there to cover up that thin strip of adhesive. And I love the black happy birthday on there kind of popping off the rainbow. I think it's so pretty. So next up, we need to find a way to hide those little drops of glue we had to put towards the top of that vellum to make sure it was secure. And we're gonna do that with glitter, which is one of the best ways to hide in little mistakes or adhesive, right? Some little sparkle. So we're gonna add the chunky glitter on there by dropping little drops of glue with our glue tube and then adding that glitter on there and tapping off any of the excess. And what's so cool about this is it adds this beautiful birthday sparkle and kind of goes along with the whole confetti idea and it hides the adhesive. So I really love how Shari came up with this idea. I think it's so clever. So she's just gonna add a little bit more of that glitter on there. And then now this card is done and so much fun. I just love it. So for the inside, to make this also a gift card holder, we're gonna die cut a stitched rectangle and then use the simple gift card slot on that stitched rectangle. We'll run that through the die cut machine and then we can pop our gift card in right just like that. Then we can add some adhesive to that whole panel and layer that onto the inside of the card. And I love that this is gonna coordinate with the card with that beautiful green pattern paper and be a really nice, fun way to surprise somebody with a birthday gift. And so here you can see the front of that happy card. And then on the inside, we've got that awesome gift card. 
So next up we have some awesome projects by the design team and first up we have this awesome cute little bag by Letitia with that fun glitter tag on it. I love it so much. These tags by Audrey are so sweet. I love her craft red and white color combo. It's absolutely gorgeous. These cards by Elise are just adorable. How fun are those bright pops of color and those cool shaker elements. Lynette created a goodie bag out of some paper bag cardstock and then has her awesome shaker tag there as a beautiful pop of color. Here's a nice quick and easy to reproduce little tag in traditional red and green colors. Here I love how Kay put the glitter behind there. The sparkle cardstock looks incredible with the white frame. And then these are the tags by Elena that inspired us to make ours today. They're just so cute. And then these are the tags by Megan that inspired us to make ours as well. And I love how you can get such a different look depending on what pattern papers and card stocks you use. I also adore these tags by Megan as well. And I love how she added some white heat embossing to the back of them and the little happy holiday sentiment. It's just so cute. Here I love how Lynette made this awesome card here where she's got the little llama and the unicorn hanging out in our winter village. I love how Elise combined the Say What Christmas critters with some of our other critters for this beautiful set of cards. I just love how Lynette layered her tag onto her card base. It's such a really, really cool and unique way to use a tag. And I love how cute the unicorn from Say What Christmas Critters looks with the reveal wheel shooting star add-on. And then this card by Jen is so much fun. I love how all the critters are hanging out in that fun little stitched circle window. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this stamp set and these gift tags. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.